coach, for you personally, what are some of your hopes, goals, and expectations as you enter into this 2016 season? Uh, you know, working with young kids here, I'm real excited about, about working with these kids and helping them in the game, help them progress and, you know, really honing their skills and trying to make them better, not only better on the field, but off the field also, because this is a challenge being, you know, in a big city, a lot of these kids never played underneath the lights, uh, they never played in front of the crowds, so, uh, you know, that's something we have to watch real close and make sure they understand, and, you know, it's, it's going to be a little bit of adjustment for them, but that's what we're here for, to help them. And on top of all that, the first series that you and your team have to go into is one of the hottest rivalries in the New York Penn League, and that's Staten Island versus the Brooklyn Cyclones. Yes. I mean, are you telling anything to them just to get them to be mentally prepared and calm and ready for this upcoming season? Oh, they'll, they'll, be, they'll be fine. You know, some guys, it's, it's going to be, it's, it's, you know, it's exciting for them. You know, exciting for them, and it's going to be a, uh, you know, it, it's going to be a, a fun time, you know, where you have a crowd and you have you know, people booing at you over there over in Brooklyn. We come over here and we're going to get the same thing. So, you know, it's, uh, you know, I just want to make sure that, you know, everybody stays calm. You know, you go out there and play your game and you don't, you don't see the crowds. You hear them an awful lot, though. As a coach, uh, this level is probably one of the most difficult because you not only have to balance winning, but you also have to balance development plus winning. Yes. So how do you do that as a coach to bring out the best in these young men so that way they can keep going up in the stand, the Yankee system and be successful ball players? And then how do you do that as a coach? Well, I, I think development and winning go hand in hand. I think that, you know, first of all, we're working on their, their individual skills, but you have to teach them how to win. And when you have winning clubs and, and, and players that know how to win, it's an individual game played on a team effort. So everything you do out there is individual. You throw the ball, you hit the ball, you got to catch the ball, and you got to throw the ball. So it's working on the end of, But to teach them how to play as a team and play and do things that you have to do to win. I know, you know everybody on this team are players to watch, but for you, who are some of your players to watch for? Oh, some of my players were uh, Luis Torrens, a catcher, uh, very good player. There's some pitchers, Mr. Finley. Um, all the way through, we, we have some very good arms in the, in the you know in our starting rotation and in our bullpen. We got guys that can throw that they really have never played at this level before either. So, you know, all the way all the way through there, I think there's uh, we got a little center fielder, Ferreira. Uh, he can fly, and he can steal a bag, and he can cover some ground out in the outfit. It's going to be an exciting player to watch. It seems like uh, there's not many Staten Island Yankees back this year, maybe like a handful. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, is that a good thing for you that maybe you could develop your type of baseball and your type of brand of baseball this year with the team that you have now? Or would it not have mattered? Or how is that for you as a coach to have the team that you have right now? It's the Yankees' way of baseball. Yeah, it really is what it is. You know, it's not my brand. I think uh, managing style is it's going to change with every team that you have, whether you have a fast team, you have a power team. Team, uh, what, what kind of team do you have? And and as a manager, I work with the players I have and, and just put them in a position for success and a position to win the game. Cool. And lastly, what I always like to do is I like to give everybody that's a part of the team an opportunity to give the fans a message from you directly to come on out and support. So please give your best message for the fans at home watching this to get them to come out and support the Staten Island Yankees. Well, I, I would say to the fans, this is very exciting baseball. These are future big leaguers. You come out here and watch these guys and you follow them and you, 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 you root for them. You see them fail. You see them do great. You see them and then you watch them as they go up the ladder and all of a sudden you see one of these kids or more than one, a few of them, they're playing in the big leagues and you can say, I saw them play in Staten Island.